Hey guys, it's been a while, hasn't it? Last week I was at VidCon, and the week before that I was at the Northern California Regional Emmy Awards, where I got to wear these little beauties. Check them out. Pink snakeskin high heels from Pink Snakes, of course. When I opened the box to try them on, I found these little paper silica packets with the ominous words, do not eat. Silica can be found in cosmetics like foundations, blushes, and mineral makeup. Some people believe this ingredient is bad for you, so the question is, what is silica and is it really that bad? Silica is made of silicon, that's the 14th element on the periodic table, plus two oxygens, the technical name, silicon dioxide. And you can find it in sand and quartz. Now if you ate a bit of sand, do you want to know what would happen? Absolutely nothing! Like sand, it's safe enough to eat. It's actually a common additive used in foods. Colloidal silica is silica divided so fine, it's used to enhance the flavor of potato chips. So here's proof it won't kill ya. Mmm, good ruffles. So why the stern do not eat message? It turns out it's not the silica that's toxic, but the cobalt chloride, which changes color to let you know it's absorbed all the moisture that it can. The warning is there for the adventurous eaters or the little tykes. In 2014, the American Association of Poison Control reported that 19,689 children in the five and under set chow down on these little packets. No one died, but given silica absorbs a lot of water and depending on how much they ate, can't imagine pooping would be too much fun. What? I was hungry. So why all the negative chatter about silica and cosmetics? Some people are concerned that silica causes silicosis, a disabling lung disease. And it does, but not the kind used in cosmetics. First, cosmetics use amorphous silica. That's the kind that doesn't cause problems with lungs. Second, you'll find silica in solid products, not as a fine powder waiting to be inhaled. Unless you're huffing your mineral makeup, you'll be fine. And if you're doing that, you've made some poor life choices already. So why put silica in cosmetics at all? It's a great oil absorber, plasticizer, and mattifying agent. It also is used as a mild abrasive to help whiten teeth. And it's a great moisture absorber, which is why it's in our shoebox to begin with. <laughs> Hi guys, this is Miss Beautifile. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you like what you see, subscribe. And if you've got ideas or thoughts you wanna share, put them in the comment section below. See you later.